so good morning. Uh, my name is Paula. I am architecture and civil engineer and project manager at the floor bioengineering. Uh, I also coordinate and carry out the very very handicraft training we had in Brazil in 2016. So uh, the Floor Bioengineer is one of Brazil's largest companies providing bioengineering service to protect infrastructure through Brazil. Very, very system technology is one of the advanced technology that the Floor is using. The Floor has a very large nursery producing millions of plantings slips for its own use. Local villagers are the main employees of this nursery and to provide extra income to this workforce. The floor initiated a very, very handicraft training, production and marketing project. So uh, this in 2016, Aloisio, the owner, the founder of the floor, invited some friends from Venezuela, Rafael Luke and Barbela Rivers, to train and teach our people from the community close to our farm to learn the handcraft with Veriver. We were used to use the Veriver for most of erosion control products. The, the, the region of the community is located in southeast of Brazil, the state called Minas Gerais. So my first contact with very, very handicraft was in TVNI conference 2015 in Vietnam. This is the Thai princess and some of the members of TVNI group. So I participated on three days international handicraft exhibition in training course from Thailand people. So it was my first contact and where I could meet some people from other countries, Thailand, India, and Venezuela. And we had the idea to invite them to Brazil to train our people and we could start a social program. We also, the floor also was the sponsor of the ICV-6. So here is Dr. Aloisio on left. He is the founder of the floor in the nursery. Rafael Luke and Barbella Rivas from Venezuela. Aloisio invited them on September of 2016 to teach our group. Here are some pictures of the training room, the workshop, the workshop training 23 craftsmen using very, very leaves with a total of 112 hours of training. Some instructions by Miss Marbella Rivers. The people, the, the people, most of them are used to be artisans. They used to produce other people, other material, other products with uh, some raw material we have there, like wood, seeds, painting, paper. Uh, Marbella teaching the artisans who to prepare the leaves. Here is Miss Beverly. She is the she became the master of handicraft. She prepared to teach other groups, new groups every single week. So the activity will continue with participants who meet one day each week and also incorporate new members of the community. Some pictures of practicing during the Venezuelan group teaching. The floor provides looms, other tools, and some plants for their gardens to provide their own raw material. Some beautiful handcrafts they were able to prepare. Uh, other pictures 
the the first the first products they were able to conclude different types of products the marbella and rafael learn to teach us and Mar and uh, people from santana learn we also produce some baskets so we can substitute the plastic baskets for very very grass handcraft baskets some more beautiful handcraft and in the end of the course they could were able to receive their own certificate signed by the Rafael Luke and Marbella. Here in this picture is Aloysio, Rafael and Marbella, and also Billy from Rio de Janeiro. He's from the state of Rio, and they also join us during the, the very rare course, handcraft course. So this picture shows the last group we have that we could certificate it in the end of 2020. My, Beverly, the, the master, and the, all the girls, most, uh, the most of them women, that could learn and start doing their own products in their house. Because after it started the pandemic, we have to stop meeting together every single week, and they are they are doing and preparing the products on their house with their family. It is good because all the family starts learning too. This is some products the artisans also made with a typical um, material we have in Brazil before the very very it's some uh, sweets jelly wood stuff painting seeds yeah, so they didn't have so much difficult to learn the very fair and they also have they are very creative to develop new designs and new products here they are preparing the leaves of very fair drying trim, trimming the leaves The floor also provide them with an industrial sewing machine to help them developing more, uh, more uh, diversity of the products. So here is Miss Beverly. She became the master. She is from Zimbabwe in Africa, but she lives in Brazil more than 10 years. And she had very easily learned with the Venezuelan group. So she become the master and she teach every week new group. And here she was doing a video for a Brazilian TV. Uh, some beautiful products they were able to do. Actually, they are spe specialist here. How to prepare the leaves some beautiful handcrafts after the Venezuela and how they keep going and producing in Brazil. So the project includes marketing through hotel local shops in region cities. Here is some shops in the midtown of Santana dos Montes. Uh, very small shops, but we sell a lot of uh, typical products and handcraft products. For tourists, it's a tourist route of hotel farm route. So we have most of the weekends and holidays. In vacations, we have visits of them and they are very proud to buy some handcraft product. In, two, in December of 2018, at one of the largest crafts fair in the Americas held in Minas Gerais State, Brazil. It involved the students from the workshop held in 2016. With great surprise, the results of that workshop is being shown internationally by other students. Also, this joint venture is being multiplied by them. 
who have seen training on their people through the techniques learned in that course. The artisans are having a decent job to earn money and this motivated our people to learn the handcraft production techniques. So uh, for conclusions, uh, the local population benefits from the new handcraft activity provided by Very Very Res. Women and young people who had no job before now devote time to the handcraft and receive a new monthly income. Artisans plant seedlings in their own homes and cultivate to develop their own products. And the floor by engineering developed a social program and created more jobs in the region. So uh, I want to thank you very much for everybody for the attention, all members from TV and I, and also Paul Strong, my friend from very very that I have I am been learning most of things about this beautiful grass. Here are my contacts. Thank you.